Hello and welcome to the first release commentary of Dregoth, an open source re-implementation of the Gothic games. If you want to try the engine yourself, you can now download compiled versions from GitHub. Just get the one of the releases and drop the contents into your game's root folder. It is designed to run with both Gothic 1 and 2. After running one of the batch files, your game should load. Now, let's look at the change in this version. First of all, note that the objects are no longer full bright, but rather pick up the shadow from the ground as you can see on the spirit in the background. Also, there is some sunlight cast onto the objects like on the player's arm here. Next up are some changes regarding the camera. In the original, the camera is positioned closer to the player and follows him smoothly, which is not what it did in previous versions. This has now been corrected and almost looks like the original. You can now interact with many objects found around the world. At least the animations are mostly implemented, however, none of these will actually produce anything yet. Also, there are still no particle effects whatsoever. Letters kind of work as well, but you can't really get off them at the top. More script functions have been implemented into Regoth. For example, scripts can now check for items in the inventory and take them out. This lets us complete this trade quest regarding Whistler's Sword in the old camp, for example. Right now, we don't have the 110 or Fisk once for the sword, since Whistler gave us only 100. We can get another 10 from him, though. Then we can pay Fisk, receive the sword, and give it to Whistler. As a little bonus, I have created an Android version of the engine. It does run pretty well, but there is still room for optimization. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.